How's it going, everybody? C Rad TV back here in another video. So, of course, another week of NFL football is now upon us, which means it's time for the NFL Week 10 picks. As now we have officially entered the second half of the NFL season. So, we just hit the halfway point. We now start the second half. As now the sprint to the playoffs begin. As now we really find out who the contenders are, who's the pretenders, and who's competing in the fucking tank bowl. So yeah, of course, um, this week we have four teams on the bye this week. We have the Kansas City Chiefs, the Los Angeles Rams, the Miami Dolphins, and the Philadelphia Eagles. And the Chiefs and the Dolphins, it makes kind of set actually makes sense because the Chiefs and Dolphins are coming off playing in Germany last week. So yeah, of course, um, last week with my picks, I went 9-5 and five with my picks. So my record for 2023-2024 goes to 89-47. So yeah, let's let's see how this week shapes up. So let's get started. So our first game, our Thursday night game. Oh, this game's gonna be a classic. It's gonna be a great battle between two great teams. Nope, I'm just fucking with you. It's a tank bull, baby. Yes, the tank bowls are always very popular on Thursday night footballs. You want to watch two garbage teams duke it out for 60 minutes? Well then, Thursday night football is the place for you. As for this Thursday night football game, tank bowl, it doesn't matter who wins this game. Chicago wins no matter what. As since Ki Chicago owns Carolina's first round pick this year. So yeah, Carolina Panthers, Chicago Bears playing in Chicago. Um, not sure who the starting QB is for Chicago. I believe it's going to be Justin Fields. So Fields will probably more likely begin to nod for Chicago. Since Tyson Badgen ain't it. But yeah, um, yeah, I got Chicago winning this one over Carolina. I honestly want the Bears to win this one so the Bears fans can have some false hope. Entering War Week next week when the Bears take on the Detroit Lions. Next week for War Week so that the Bears fans can get hyped up thinking they're going to expose the Lions for being frauds. Only for Detroit to stomp the shit out of them next week and humble the Bears fan base. Because that Bears fan base is starting to talk a lot of shit again. Especially with the, the game against Detroit coming up. And that Bears fan base needs to be get humbled and put back in its place. And I want it to be Detroit that humbles their ass. See, I got Chicago 22-19 over Carolina. Give me the Bears by three over Carolina on Thursday night in the Tank Bowl. And now to our Sunday games. The first one, we have the Indianapolis Colts and the New England Patriots playing up in Germany in Frankfurt. Damn it, and I just gave the NFL praise last week for the Chiefs-Dolphins in Germany, saying the NFL finally figured out to send the good teams overseas if you want people to give a fuck about the NFL. NFL, I'm going to say the same thing once again. You want people in Germany and England to give a fuck about the NFL? Stop sending the shitty teams over. Send the good teams over like you did last week with the Chiefs and the Dolphins. God damn it. How fucking hard is that to do? But yeah, this game's going to be... I think this game's going to go Indy's way. You know, it's a rivalry game between the Colts and the Pats. I'm going to say Indy wins this rivalry game overseas in Germany. I got Indianapolis 25-19 over the Patriots. Just the Patriots are still a mess. Give me Indy by 6 over the Patriots. Next game, Houston Tech as we head back to America. Houston Texans, Cincinnati Bengals playing up in Cincinnati. Yeah, I got the Bengals in this one. I think it's going to be a close game. I think it's because CJ Stroud has been playing like a beast this year. He's having a really good rookie season. Plus, the Bengals have been somewhat inconsistent this year. So, I'm going to say Cincinnati and Houston are going to keep it close. I think Cincinnati wins this one in a low-scoring game over Houston, 19-18. Give me the Bengals by one over the Texans. Next game, New Orleans Saints. Minnesota Vikings playing in Minnesota at U.S. Bank. The Saints are trying to hold on to their lead in, in first place in the NFC South. The, Pat, the Vikings are trying to keep pace with the Lions for the lead. For the, to, for the division in the NFC North. Something's got to give in this game, man. Minnesota kind of got lucky last week against the Falcons. Like, their comfort behind one against Atlanta wasn't really that impressive. I mean, it's the fucking Falcons. They're known to choke. And the Falcons choked again. Like, you, 
And the Vikings nearly lost that game, too. They nearly outchoked a team that's notorious for choking. But once again, Minnesota pulled some bullshit with Josh Dobbs and backed their way into another win. But this week against the Saints, the Vikings' luck runs out. And it will run out. If not this week, it will run out eventually. But I got the Saints beating the Vikings in this one, 26-20. Give me the Saints by, by six over the Vikings. Vikings get dick punched back to reality this week. Next game, Green Bay Packers. Pittsburgh Steelers playing up at Pittsburgh. Tom Grossi versus urinating tree. And also, before I continue on, though, I, want, I do want to give a shout-out to Tom Grossi and congratulate him after he was nominated by the Packers and got told that he would be representing the Packers in the 2023-2024 NFL Fan of the Year competition so that's a good honor for Grossi I mean Grossi fucking deserves it congrats to him like Tom Grossi's easily the best Packers video vid maker on this plat on the YouTube on this platform so good great that his talent is finally being rewarded so yeah congrats to Grossi on that accomplishment well deserved but for this game I'm not going Grossi posse I'm going team urinating tree in this one I got the Steelers beating the Packers 24 to 19. Give me the Steelers by five and give me Tree by five over Grassi Posse. But hey, Grassi, congrats though on being nominated for Fan of the Year. Well deserved though. In all seriousness. As much as I hate the Packers, I'll give credit where it's due. I always have respect for Grassi. But yeah, to our next game, we have a battle of two garbage teams in the in the South. A garbage team from the NFC South and a garbage team from the AFC South. In other words, it's the NFL South cream of the crap. <laughs> so this cream of the crap tank bowl sees the Tennessee Titans and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers playing up in Tampa. Of course, Will Levis is getting the start for the Titans in this game, while Baker Mayfield, shockingly, is still a starter. So I guess everyone was wrong by about what what the to Bucks head coach and starting QB would be by Week Nine, Week Ten. Because at this point of the year, we all thought that Mayfield would have got benched and Todd Bowles would have got fired. But so far, Baltimore is still in their respective spots. So, damn, not the first time we've all been wrong, though. We got this game, you know, Titans look really good last week. Wait, how did the Titans do? Let me check my notes real quick. How did Tennessee do? Let's see. Oh, yeah, Tennessee played the Steelers, and the Titans looked pretty solid with Will Levis there. So, I mean, with Will Levis, they look pretty solid. I mean, it was the Steelers last week, but, you know, this week, I think the Titans bounce back after last week. I think Tennessee gets the win on the road against Tampa Bay. I got Tennessee winning this one 25-17 over the Bucks. Give me the Tines by 8 over the Buccaneers. Next game. Battle of two top teams and two NFL powerhouse top and two, yeah, two top teams. So this, this will be a good one. San Francisco 49ers, Jacksonville Jaguars playing up in Duval. San Francisco on a three-game losing streak while Jacksonville is starting to slowly run away with the AFC, NFC, AFC South. Uh, West Indy or Houston can have anything to say about it. But this one, you know, San Francisco needs a win after San Francisco's dropped three straight. And now San Francisco's at risk of losing the, the lead in the NFC West to the Seahawks as the Seahawks have started to catch back up with the 49ers. Plus, the 49ers have now lost the second seed in the NFC to the Detroit Lions. And they're losing ground to the Eagles as well. But, see, so yeah, the 49ers is a must-win game for the 49ers against Jacksonville. I think San Francisco does their job in Duval. I got the 49ers beating the Jaguars 25-18. to Give me San Francisco by 7 over Jacksonville. Next game, we got an AFC North bet rivalry game. Cleveland Browns, Baltimore Ravens playing up in Baltimore. Well, we've seen this year that usually teams that go up to Baltimore tend to get fucked hard. Usually with no Vaseline. Just ask Detroit and Seattle last week. So yeah, I got Baltimore beating Cleveland big. I got Baltimore 24-16. to 
Give me the Ravens by eight over the, over the Browns. Next game, Atlanta Falcons, Arizona Cardinals playing in Arizona. This game isn't really a tank bowl because Atlanta could still possibly get the lead in the NFC South since they're still in that race with the Saints for the NFC South lead. While the Cardinals, while the Cardinals are tanking. Also for this game, Kyler Murray is expected to be the starter now as he's been activated to the roster since Josh Dobbs got traded to the Vikings. But yeah, I'm gonna say the Falcons win this one because it's been it's been almost a year since Murray last played. So Murray's gonna have a lot of you know things to work Russ to work off of. So I'm gonna say Atlanta wins this one 24 to 22. I got it Falcons by two. However, I do have the I, even though I have the Falcons winning this game, I would not be surprised in the slightest if the Cardinals won in Kyler Murray's first game back. I have the Falcons, but I wouldn't be surprised if Arizona won. Next game, Detroit Lions, Los Angeles Chargers playing up in, at SoFi. A game that will more than likely be overtaken by Lions fans since there are a lot of Lions fans that live out on the West Coast. Since usually every Chargers home games gets taken over by opposing fans. But yeah, this one, I think it's going to be a close game because I think Herbert keeps it close and Detroit coming off the bye. I think Detroit will still pull it off in SoFi. I got the Lions beating the Chargers 22-21. Give me Detroit by one over the Chargers. Next game, New York Giants, Dallas Cowboys playing up in Dallas and Jerry World. Of course, the last time these two teams met was all the way in week one on Sunday Night Football. And dear God, that game was horrible. With the Giant, with the Cowboys beating the shit out of the Giants 40 to nothing. This game, I don't think it's going to be that big of a blowout, though. Even though Daniel Jones is now out for the season. And Tyrod Taylor is now going to be back in, I believe. And to be honest, I feel like the Giants play be have played better with Tyrod in than Daniel Jones. But I still, but that will not be enough to beat the Cowboys. Minus the Cowboys are going to look for to take the ring around on the Giants after the Cowboys had that contra for somewhat controversial loss to the Eagles last week, which honestly, there was really no real bad ref ball. It was just the Cowboys failed to perform when it mattered. But I got the Cowboys rebounding this week. I got them beating the Giants 23-19. to Give me the Cowboys by four over the Giants. Give me Dallas by four in this one. Next game, Washington Commanders, Seattle Seahawks playing in Seattle. Seahawks trying to take the number one spot in the NFC West away from San Francisco. I think Seattle's going to keep pace with San Francisco. Give me the, I'm going to take the Seahawks in this one over Washington in a low-scoring game, 18-17. Give me Seattle by one over Washington. And next up, damn it, why the fuck was this Sunday night game not flexed out? Honestly, the Sunday night game this week should have been San Francisco versus Jacksonville. Why the fuck is it the New York Jets and the Las Vegas Raiders in Las Vegas? Nobody wants to see this shit on Sunday Night Football. To be perfectly honest, I think the main reason it was on Sunday night to begin with was because of Aaron Rodgers and Rodgers is still out with his injury with his Achilles injury. But yeah, this game's gonna suck ass. Honestly, this game should have got flexed out for San Francisco versus Jacksonville. Or hell, maybe even Green Bay Pit. No, not Green Bay Pittsburgh. That game would suck balls. Or hell, maybe even Detroit versus Los Angeles or the Chargers. But yeah, this one, no. I'm going to say the Jets win this one over Las Vegas. Even though Vegas got a pretty good dominant win over the Giants. I think the Raiders recognize this week that the Jets are not the Giants. And the Jets are the really superior New York team right now over the Giants. I got the Jets in this one 24-22. Give me the Jets by two over the Raiders. At least the Raiders had some feel good moment had a feel good moment last week following the firing of Josh McDaniels, or as we all like to call him, Josh McDumbass. And now finally, to our final game of the week, the Monday night game. Denver Broncos, Buffalo Bills playing in Buffalo. As Denver's coming off. Wait, how did Denver do last week? No, wait, Denver was on a bye, though. As Denver, the last game, they beat the Chiefs in dominant fashion. And then their Broncos coming off the bye. And, of course, the Bills are coming off a heartbreaking loss in Cincinnati last Sunday on Sunday Night Football. 
So the Bills are going to be looking to bounce back. The Broncos looking to keep some possible momentum going coming off the bye. I got the Bills in this one. The Bills need to win this game, especially after that loss to the Bengals last week. I got the Bills in this one over the Broncos. I think Denver keeps it close, though, because Buffalo has had it, has played down to a lot of inferior opponents this year, have made a lot of the games against inferior competition look closer than it should have been. I got the Bills in this one over the Broncos, though, 24 to 21. Give me Buffalo by three over Def Denver. But yeah, those are my NFL Week 10 picks as now the race to the playoffs will start to begin with nine weeks remaining this season. But yeah, that's all I got to say. Hope everyone has a great day and I'll see you all whatever I make next. I'm out.